there everyone, it's Jeanette here from Enthusiastic Gardener and today I'm very excited because I'm going to be planting up my fountain area which I've never ever been happy with but I think I'm going to be happy with it now. I had a lot of stepping stones going around which I'm not having those again and I'm going to have a heuchera garden because heucheras are one of my most favourite plants. They do really well for me and I've got a beautiful selection here. I'm not sure if I will use all of them just yet, but as well as using some of them, I'm going to be taking a few that are already in the garden because I want kind of a beautiful, vibrant colour just with foliage. And as probably if you watch my garden, you'll know that I do like a bit of colour. And um, they're beautiful because they do very well for me. They don't lose their foliage over the winter. I'm in the equivalent of a US zone eight, but that's the winter temperatures, not so much the summer temperatures. It hasn't got above about 70 very often this year. And today I think it's about 65, very cloudy and dark, but it's perfect for planting. And autumn is an ideal time to get your plants in. So that's what I'm doing today. And as I say, I'm going to take some from other parts of the garden. I'm going to steal them and put them in there as well. And it's just going to be basically a garden of colorful foliage. It gets the sun in the morning all along here, gets the sun. And then as the day goes on, this bit is then in shade in the afternoon. So these heucheras are perfect for that because they can take full shade, they can take part shade, and they can take full sun. They are ideal. Let me show you the beautiful plants that I've got. I already have this one, which is one of my favorites, called Dark Secret. And it is dark, but it has beautiful plum dark red backs to the leaves. So that's a lovely one. This is a hydrangea, which is just about finished flowering, so I'll tidy this up. And then my Chinese plumbago, although it's got beautiful flowers, I am going to just tidy that up a little bit. Then over here, I'm not sure what this is called. It's, um, it's okay, it's nothing wonderful, but it fills the space. So I'm going to cut that down a little bit, make it into a pretty mounded shape. I'll probably lose this hebe, put that somewhere else. We have a hydrangea there. This echinacea, absolutely gorgeous, love the echinacea. And over the back, I have a few hot lips, salvia hot lips. And then we've got the verbena at the top and some clematis. So let me show you what I'm adding. So first of all, the ones that I'm going to be stealing from the rest of the garden, I have this beautiful red one it's called an Indian summer coral berry so I'll be taking one of those as I have three or four of those in the circle area and another one that I'll be taking is this one which is called topaz jazz and I've put three here but they are going to get big though I do need to uh, move those anyway so we'll have one of those then I have a tiny one which I tucked in at the back in this border here, this one is called Melting Fire and we will put that in the new fountain, Heuchera Garden. And now for my new ones, this is gorgeous. Would you, you agree? It's called Lime Marmalade. Absolutely beautiful colour. This one is called Kimono. Absolutely lovely. Here's another gorgeous one. This one is another Indian summer, but this one is called Cranberry. I have three of these. So the ones that I'm taking out from the rest of the garden areas, I might put uh, one of these in to replace it. This one is called Silver Gundrop and it's beautiful and silver. It's lovely. So I really like that. Now this isn't a heuchera, you'll know this, it's called a Bronnera, Jack of Diamonds, and these like shade, so I think I'll put that right over in the very 
far bit and it will also get um, shade from the trachycarpus hopefully and the foliage is just gorgeous and it needs to go in because it's very dry curling up a bit we need to look after this one definitely I'm emptying all my grow bags which I had seeds and different things grown in annuals because I might as well use this what I'll do is when everything's planted I'm going to use it all as mulch to mulch the whole area because the plant would only utilize the very top of the soil anyway they weren't in there very very long so I'm going to use that rather than discard that as a mulch oh and finally because I'll never remember all these names I have little tags for each of them and I'm going to just tuck them into the foliage so that I'll always remember their names because I think they have such beautiful names Eucharist so I want to try and remember them Well, that was hard work, I have to say. And I think I will ache tomorrow, but I think it looks beautiful. And I've mulched the area. Richard has ordered a, an uplighter for the trachycarpus, which I think is gonna look really lovely. So all these hookahs, obviously that, that big one there, they're all going to be that sort of size. So they do have room to fill out, probably not this year. And I've trimmed the Chinese plumbago. I deadheaded the hydrangea at the back. So that's it from me. I'm Jeanette. I'm the enthusiastic gardener in my Hucula garden today. And I hope you're having fun in your gardens and getting lots done. And I will see you soon. Thank you for joining me. Take care, everyone. Bye.